Hello there everyone, Rex B here and welcome back to the IS career mode here on FIFA 16. Last episode we turned our form around a bit, we got two wins and a draw. Unfortunately the draw was against our rifles finer and that does mean we were unable to take over the top spot in the Eredivisie. But today we're going to go ahead and move on and see if we can maybe conquer the top position this episode. We can also do another set of training now and uh, I threw in Muric because a lot of people were on international duty so I figured why not but he kind of squandered his chance there with an F. Oh well. Here we are for our next there, league everybody. game against We're SA Cumbria, one of the uh, lower yeah, ranked arena, teams in the Eredivisie. And here is my squad, giving a couple of other players a bit of a chance again, because uh, it's a weaker side, so we should be able to beat them still. Free kick now for Cumbria in a dangerous position. I barely even touched the guy, but they got a free kick. Luckily it goes wide. Okay, time for me to attack now. Bazur on the flank for some reason, but he actually gets through there. And it goes out for a corner. Let's bring that ball in with Sinkraaf and head it and oh that's the bar. Can we get a chance here in the rebound? No, I don't think we do. What a yellow card? For what? I didn't hit anyone. He literally did not hit anyone. How is that a yellow card? Probably my final chance to attack here in the first half. Uh, Gudalia on the flank now. We actually break through somehow let's give a shot and that goes in Gudalia nice shot from distance here and he actually gets it in he's been playing a lot better than Tielemans for me which is kind of surprising for me because in real life he really has been invisible a lot but in FIFA he gets the goals for me so I'll probably happily keep him in the first team until uh, Tielemans shows his worth a bit more for me but yeah good shot and just on the edge of half time, we're 1 0 up. Oh, Sisto gets past his man there. Uh, let's cut inside. Now, I keep cutting inside. Maybe I should try something else sometime. Because it's really not working out as consistently for me as it probably should. Good opportunity for Bazur, though. Let's have a crack. Nah. That's too far off. Oh, we win that ball there. That's very well done. Let's. We should definitely be able to play this out here. Off to Yunus. Let's take a shot. And no, oh, good save from the keeper. Should have had gotten a goal there. We were with quite a few men forward. But fortunately, the passing didn't work out for me. Oh, that's a good true ball here. And that's a good shot. And that's 2-0. Nice goal from Yunus. And we have pretty much secured the win now. I don't think we're going to concede two goals here in these last uh, 12 minutes of the match. Yeah, that pass through was very, very lovely. And a good finish too. Oh, that was some poor defending and that's going to be one goal back for them. What was that, man? You can't lose the ball in midfield like that. Look, look at that. That is so poor. That is incredibly poor. And that's the match. We still win 2-1, but defensive mistakes like that, I really need to cut them out of my game. Because losing the ball like that and then conceding the goal is just so poor. And, I mean, I can't score the goals, but if I concede it like that, it's not going to matter. So, that's really something I got to work on. But at least we got the three points, so let's move on to the next game. We also have a new monthly scouting update here. This player, Erwin, looks very good. I'm going to go ahead and sign him up. Uh, this player, I'm not sure about yet. Ooh, Marta also looks very good. Going to sign him up as well. Uh, I'll scout that one a bit longer. And Van der Horn, you know what? We'll sign him up too. Let's do another set of training now. I'm giving Murich another chance. But again, he doesn't do well in training. Uh, I guess I'll just give it his spot again to someone else next uh, training session. Time for the third Europa League this group stage match. This time stage away to Euro Celtic. And here you can see the group. Both Celtic and I have three points with one win. And Fenerbahce has won two games so far. And here's my squad. Actually starting off in the holding 4-3-3 formation. Because I feel like that might give me that bit of defensive solidity I need in Europe. 
Okay, opportunity to attack now, El Ghazi here, but not very many people with him. We can get it to Milik here, but again, you know, that leaves nobody in the box, and that was a poor pass back. Well, that's actually a good bit of passing play from Celtic, and that almost goes in. Okay, starting the second half now. I have felt a lot more solid defensively, but I haven't really been able to mount an attack of any kind either. So I guess that is a downside of this, but it has helped at least to not concede very early like I have done a lot. And actually, we might actually have a good chance here. Huh, that goes out for a corner, I think. And I just misstepped twice in a row. I really am lucky I have citizen goal. Because my defending is abysmal. What? How does he get an opportunity to shoot that close in the box? And they hit the bar twice in a row there. Or well, once the bar once... Or was it the bar twice? I, I don't know. But they hit the woodwork twice in a row there. And that's definitely not something you want. But that's actually a good ball through on Fisher, but is he offside? Ah, he's offside. And he just runs past me. He just ran past me there. How do I let that happen? And how do they not finish these chances? Yeah, my player is laying injured in the box, but that's okay. Just keep playing on there. That That's cool. Oh, oh, great. It's Tielemans out injured. Um... Uh, we'll put uh, the dunker on and put him in the holding role and uh, let's get back into this then. I want to try and at least get one attack going because come on, what? they keep losing the ball so simply. I, I don't understand what is wrong with my players and how they keep like messing this up. Like their first touch is just horrid and then they lose the ball or they pass it like the most sloppily you could ever do it, it sometimes I just feel like these are amateurs I'm playing with rather than professional footballers but okay good alley let's actually go through here now and hand that off okay good we actually are able to get across in here maybe or just walk for a bit more uh, I have no one in position to pass or shoot so let's go back wide then okay Al Ghazi, can you get through you can get fouled and the ref cannot call it because the they seem to not call any fouls on my players and that's how it ends a nil nil draw i don't think we had a single shot on goal that that was a poor performance well there we go we had zero shots like like not, not even zero shots on target no zero shots in total we didn't mount any attacks and they had nine shots four on target but Somehow didn't get any goals out of it. So I guess defensively we kept a clean sheet. But offensively that was a horrible performance. <sighs> Gotta work on that. And try and get more points in Europe. Because else we're not going to get through. And the injury news on Tielemans. He's out for four weeks. Eh, could be worse. I'll have to deal with it. And Serrero feels a bit homesick, apparently. Uh, that's okay. If he does want to leave, I'm fine with selling him because he's not an integral part of my team. Next up, another home match in the ADPC against FC Utrecht. They're a pretty decent side, but we'll have to do our best and get another three points today. I did rotate a lot because a lot of my players were tired from the match just two days ago against Celtic. And I'm also giving Iseka a chance up front because Milik has just been invisible lately. Good interception there. Let's actually give that through. Can we get it in? Ah, oh, no. Sinkrave is just a tad too slow. And now we have to watch out for a goal on the other side, but they shoot over the goal. Okay, that's actually really wide and open. And oh, Eunice. Ah, oh, that's, that's unlucky. Tried to finesse it into the far post, but the keeper gets a hand on it and it goes wide because of the post good shot here and yeah the keeper just gets an elbow on it let's bring this in with Gudeli now and keeper gets a hand on it falls to Sisto let's uh, bring that back into Gudeli now and bring another ball forward no well we are still in the box now let's just take a crack then and maybe head it in no but it's still there and the keeper has the hands on it 
Half time now. Second half starts now. I've been really all over and I'm in this first half here. So I just need to be a bit more clinical and then we can definitely get the win here. Although with passes like that, you know, damn. That's a good challenge between the two of them there. Is that seriously a penalty? You're seriously giving a penalty for that? Are you kidding me, ref? Are, are you kidding me? The refs in this game give such easy fouls. Like, I, I'm not doing anything. I'm literally walking next to him. He's tripping over his own legs. And you're giving away a penalty for that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, Silas saves his first penalty. That is good. Because they did not deserve a penalty there at all. Now we just gotta work the ball away and get on the attack ourselves. Oh, nice bit of play by Yunus there to get past his man, but not enough p people forward here for Lukaku. No, that's gonna get easily blocked. We're still somehow in the box, and is that a penalty for us? Yeah. Now that's more a penalty, you know. He actually pulls me down. And no card? Come on. L look at that. He He's all over my shirt. Going to take it with Gudai, the only decent penalty player taker in my team here. And yes, keeper went to the right corner, but we get it over him. And uh, that's the 1-0, you know. Not by a brilliant attack or anything, but a goal from a penalty, I'll definitely take it. Especially for the karma, it means just because they got that unfair penalty earlier. And we give it away immediately. Because that's just how I defend. By being absolutely horrible at defending. These passes just like... They cut through me so easily. It, it's, it's incredible how... how my, none of my players are anywhere near their players. And if they are, they just run away from them. Like... Someone teach me how to defend, because clearly I'm very, very much in need of some teaching. Oh, Iseka gets through there. It's not a bad shot, you know, but just not quite clinical enough. This is going to be my last chance here. So I gotta make this count. Back into Iseka. This needs to be a goal, and it's not. That had to be a goal because now they're going to clear it. And... Oh, come on. Let it go on for a few seconds longer and I still have another chance there. But this is so frustrating. Just look at that. Nine shots. Eight on target. And we only get a goal from a penalty. That is so frustrating. Like we were outclassing them incredibly especially in the first half we were all over them and we couldn't finish and then in the second half all the passes all the little easy ones that are just a few meters to the side they go wrong they always mess them up i really feel like it's almost something wrong in the game like fifa just messed up how the passing accuracy is because it just feels like my players make too many simple errors when it comes to passing and then of course you know my defending is just horrible i'll take all the blame for that but still it's just frustrating i should be able to score more when i get these opportunities and i don't and you know what should be an easy three points end up in a one all throw and it's just it's frustrating to just drop two points here doing a bit more training now i completely uh revised who i'm trading up and i uh, just wanted to give a few other players a chance here and some training and see how they do that's going to be all for this episode though thank you guys for watching if you want to see more then do subscribe to my channel because plenty more fifa is coming your way and while you're down there leave a thumbs up on this video because that's cool too see you next time